ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from North Carolina, Bo Hines. Well, how are we doing today, guys? It's great to be here at CPAC. My name is Bo Hines. I come from the great state of North Carolina. I just got to ask you guys there, are you not excited to have the greatest president in the history of the United States here with us this afternoon? Yeah. Folks, when I jumped in this conservative movement, I had a lot of people ask me, why are you doing this at such a young age? And the answer for me to that question was really quite simple. I wasn't going to sit back and watch radical Marxist leftists destroy our country any longer for the next generation. You know, from the time I was a little kid, I've heard politicians come around every single election cycle, and they've made us many promises. Let's look at the last few decades of leadership at the highest level. Bill Clinton made promises, didn't deliver. George Bush made promises, didn't deliver. Barack Obama made promises, not only did he not deliver, he tried to tear apart our country. He tried to rip apart the fabric that binded us together as Americans. Then we had President Trump. What great leadership that was. And now we have Joe Biden who makes promises that he can't remember. So this is where we are as a country, guys. This is a result of failed promises for decades at a time. We're $30 trillion in debt. We have biological men competing in female athletics. We have crumbling infrastructure. We have rampant illegal immigration. We're watching the left attempt to strip us of our rights every single day. It's time that we draw the line. It's time that the next generation of conservatives go on offense. We will take back this country by storm with new leadership. Leadership that stands up and says, you know what? We're going to protect your First Amendment right to speak openly and honestly in whatever space that is. We're going to protect your Second Amendment right to bear arms, protect your children, your families, and if necessary, defend against tyrannical government. We're going to ensure that our children are protected in schools, not sexualized in our communities. It's about time that parents have a say in what their children are taught in classrooms in the United States. You know, one thing that frustrates me about Congress is that a lot of times we look at the word compromise as being a good thing. I want to make one point here today. Compromise does not always equate to progress. We're at the point where we're compromising ourselves out of our country. We're losing who we are. We need fighters that will go to Washington, D.C. and defend our values at all costs. I'll end with a quick story for you. My dad told me this story quite a bit as a young man. It's about a farmer in a rural community, and he walked crop rows every single day. And he strolls into a local diner, and he says, hey, guys, I just want to let you know that in a few weeks from now, I'm going to take my wheelbarrow. I'm going to walk across the canyon on the outside of town on a tightrope. And everyone laughs at him, except one guy follows him home. He watches him practice, and he comes back into the diner the next day. He says, guys, I'm telling you what, I've seen this guy practice. I've watched him walk these crop lines for decades. He's never once damaged a crop. He's going to do it. They all laughed at him. He goes, you know what? I bet each one of you $100 he can get across that canyon on a tightrope in a wheelbarrow. So he lines up, takes people's bets. Sure enough, he goes out to the farmer later that afternoon. He says, farmer, I just want to let you know that even, even though everyone else is laughing at you, I'm with you. The farmer goes, really, you're with me? He goes, yeah, as a matter of fact, I bet every single person in town $100, you're going to get across that canyon on a tightrope. The farmer goes, yeah, but do you actually believe I can do it? He goes, what do you mean? I bet everyone $100. He goes, yeah, but do you actually believe? He goes, again, I'm going to ask you, do you believe? The guy looked at him and said, yes. He goes, and how about you get in the wheelbarrow when I walk across that canyon? <laughs> the reason that story resonates with me is because we have to get in the wheelbarrow together this November. Yeah. All of us have to come together to retire Nancy Pelosi once and for all. It's going to be a massive red tsunami this year. We're going to win back this country one heart at a time, one mind at a time, and one vote at a time. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah.